Is that a McLaren? Yeah, that's a McLaren. <gasps> Hey everyone, it's Mindy from MommyMouseClubhouse.com and today I'm excited to share with you the last part of our amazing Disney cruise to the Mediterranean. This was definitely the trip of a lifetime and we got to see some beautiful places like Italy and Monaco. If you're thinking about booking a cruise or are just curious to see what they're all about, then this video is for you. If this is your first time watching, you'll want to head to my channel to see the first three videos from our Mediterranean cruise. We woke up on day five in Livorno, Italy, which is the port that gets you to Florence and Pisa. After having breakfast at Cabana's, we met with our Disney excursion group in the Walt Disney Theater and boarded the bus that would take us first to Florence. Our tour began in Florence. This tour did not include going inside the Uffizi Museum, so we had planned to visit ourselves and meet up with our group later. Unfortunately, the tickets we purchased online before the cruise to see the David were the wrong time and we were not able to change them. Luckily, we were able to follow the map from our tour guide and were able to catch up to our group a few minutes later. After exploring Florence, we found a pizza restaurant to stop at for lunch. The YMCA. What? I can't do the M, but I can only do the white way. Why am I pulling the legs too? Okay. Why? He's spinning his head around like the exorcist. YMCA. No, it goes like this. YMCA. <laughs> Wait a second. YMCA. Pinocchio does the YMCA dance now. After our tour of Florence, we headed back to the buses and went to Pisa. The Leaning Tower is just breathtaking. It was amazing to see it in person. Our excursion to Florence and Pisa returned back to the ship just in time for our pirate night dinner. If you want to see the full pirate night menu, head to mommymouseclubhouse.com and I will have the link available in the description below.
Mickey, a pirate Mickey piece of white chocolate. Yeah, it was on top of your Sunday. Mm -hmm. Let's see your Sunday. Thank you. That looks delicious. So does Dad's. Hmm? Nothing, right? <laughs> you need to focus and see the magic word. Okay? One, one, two, three. Thank you so much. Wow. Yay! On day six, we woke up in Cannes, France, and just like the other days, we had breakfast at Cabanas before boarding a water taxi to take us to shore. We booked a private tour with another family for the day, which ended up being cheaper than any of our Disney excursions. I liked touring this way because I felt like we had more time to spend exploring. Our first stop was the flower market in Nice. Pina colada. Pina colada. Mira, what flavor did you get? Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Lucas Boo, what did you get? Um, chewing gum. The best chewing one. Chewing gum, best. And Stout, what did you get? Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Dad got the And I got chocolate cookie. Ooh. Our next stop was about a 30 minute drive away to the country of Monaco. My family was extra excited to visit because it is the home of the Monaco Grand Prix Formula One race. We actually missed the race by just a few days, but many of the stands were still up. Our driver was nice enough to take us along the same route as the F1 drivers. Is that a McLaren, a Ferrari? Yeah, that's a McLaren. <gasps> Gold wrapped McLaren. Gold
We stopped for lunch at a Formula One racing themed restaurant called Stars and Bars. This was a cool view right here because you were able to see three countries at the same time, Monaco, France, and Italy. Here is a bird's eye view of the Monaco Grand Prix racetrack. Our last stop in France was the medieval town of Ease, which included a lot of stair climbing and beautiful Mediterranean views. When we returned to the ship, it was time for dinner at Rapunzel's Royal Table. The menu was different than the previous nights and was delicious. My favorite was Rapunzel's fry pan bread for dessert.
The show that night was in the Walt Disney Theater and was tangled with Rapunzel and Flynn Rider, and it was amazing. Our last full day was a day at sea. Everyone slept in past breakfast, so we had lunch in cabanas and then went swimming. What'd you get? Beef brisket. Yeah, brisket. We have some pie for lunch, really. Pie. Over there and get it. Did you just go on the aqua dunk? Let's take it. Let's show I've, everyone the aqua dunk. Real I've quick. done it like 60 million times. You have done it a lot of times. What happens in the aqua dunk? You, um, you get in the um, pod and cross your legs and then, the, and then um, pretend this is a person, the floor just drops and then you go down the slide. Wow, is it scary? Yeah. Like, yeah, but you like it? I mean, actually, no, it's not scary when you go it's on more it. more fun than scary? Yeah. Okay, do you remember how tall you have to be to ride it? 42 inches, I think. I believe this one's 48 inches. Oh. The aqua duck on the fantasy and the dream is 42 inches. Oh. All right, now you're going to go swim? Yeah. We got 20 minutes That's before dinner. Go okay. swim. Okay. Bye. Our last dinner on this cruise was at Lumiere's and it was delicious as usual. It was sad saying goodbye to our servers who had been amazing throughout our time on the Disney Magic. She got the large. After dinner, my husband and I headed to the piano bar Keys to listen to some music. This area is similar to the Cadillac Lounge on the Disney Wonder. Check out my videos of our cruise to Mexico to see that Cars themed bar. One of our favorite things to do on a Disney cruise is to walk around the ship on the jogging track on deck four. I'm glad with the busyness of this cruise, we were still able to relax a little and enjoy the sea.
And just like that, our seven-day Mediterranean cruise on the Disney Magic has come to an end. We opted to keep our luggage with us and headed up to Cabanas for one last breakfast before leaving the ship. Before we knew it, we were in a taxi on our way back to the Barcelona airport. I hope you enjoyed visiting the Mediterranean with us. We really had a great time visiting Spain, Italy, France, and Monaco. Be sure to visit MommyMouseClubhouse.com for Disney parks and Disney cruise tips, as well as easy recipes to make at home. If you are thinking about booking a Disney cruise, I have linked my favorite travel agency, Getaway Today, down in the description. They can get you a quote and help you all the way through the process. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.